Welcome back, guys. This is the GSL Codex with Tastosis. We're going to go on to our PVZ today. That's um, right. Could have a lot of PVZ. So uh, I, three. I hope we do. Um, PVP no, is great that, too. man. Protoss Nation. <laughs> oh, I want symbol O2O2 We've to get We've had out of so here. many PVPs um, already from the last season. But, yeah. I mean, you're right. It could be a lot of PVPs here. Uh, symbol, teamless right now. Um, he's still playing uh, actually shockingly well, mm -hmm. considering that he's not on a team. Yeah. But uh, this is a very tough group to get out of. It is. I, <clears throat> excuse me. If I had to pick one person who would not get out, it would be him. I would pick Stork. Really? Okay. Yeah, I have a I hard think, time. I think I might See. actually have some bias here with Stork because I've I do. been watching him for so long. Yeah. But Symbol, I think this is going to be a tall order here to get this guy out of the group Ruin against is, these Protosses. Yeah, like Ruin is really, I think, the future of Protoss right now. Like the present is Zest, the past is MC, and the future is Ruin. Ruin. Like Ruin is playing so well. He's playing like inspired Protoss games with like new strategies, you know, new it's, styles. It's amazing. Um, we've seen a little bit of stagnation here with some of the other races. Well, with Terran and Zerg, obviously, with abilities, mm -hmm. ability to go into different uh, builds sometimes. Uh, whereas with Protoss, we just, it looks like the way that the race functions, there yeah. are just so, it rewards so many different play styles. For, for a race so old, the first race the Zelnaga made, yes. it's amazing how much they still evolve. They've certainly, <laughs> te they've, they've passed the test of <laughs> you time. You know what we should do is like a straight face cast, just like using lore as the story behind everything. I'm like, <laughs> well, I think that's, that's a funny great idea. Most of esports has pretty much no interest in lore at yeah. all, which is why which would make it so it hilarious. Which an amazing cast. Yeah. An amazing cast. All right, anyways, this guy. Here comes his Zerglings. They're going to have a tough yeah. time against those Protoss Psionic Blades. Mm. <laughs> the generic Green Wings, that is not actually a seam as I am. Sorry about that. Uh, he is so good, guys. Just watch. Such a good player. Seemed to be pretty confident here today uh, in the yeah. interview as well. Well, he's like he's really playing so well. I feel like he's almost single-handedly changing the metagame a little bit. Like his PVT is so different from other players' PVT right now. We are going to see that today. I hope he gets the next round. We could, but anyways, we'll, we'll probably see it later on in the tournament. Not a lot of Terrans in this. Uh, no, not a lot of Terrans this at season all. either. So here's Symbol, and uh, of course Symbol has had an insane career so far. But last few seasons he hasn't been doing so well. He does have the towel. That's an unlockable when you beat Jumiho. Mm. <laughs> I should not have made that joke when you were drinking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, symbol. Super, uh, super talented Zerg here. Let's see how he does. I love it when ruined. he's in shape because, like, a symbol at his best looks so godly. Like, and he was originally known for his CVP. Remember so when he maybe mixed he up his style back. and was really using Nidus Worms a lot? Yeah, he and started a lot just of getting aggressive cheesy. plays. Yeah, it was really cool. Uh, and he transitioned from uh, complete macro play into cheesy play and retained his high level of like being at the top of yeah. every tournament. It's it, really you something. never see stuff like that. We're going to be going for our first game with these two players on King Sejong Station. Um, again, similar only Zerg here. Mm. Very interesting map for the matchup. Uh, I, I, if if I, I, it doesn't end early, it, it can get kind of crazy. Keep in mind, too, Symbols only had to prepare for one matchup here, uh, which is one that it does give him a match in that sense. Anyways, on to game one here with Ruin and Symbol. In the bottom right, new school, he is. I am Ruin, Hong Dong. And his opponent here in the upper left, formerly on TSL, he is. Symbol, Kang Dong Yang. What's up, Artie? Um, well, you know, I'm having a good time. Great group. Excited to see uh, how well Symbol's playing, because I know that Ruin's going to bring it. Ruin brings the thunder tasteless. <laughs> <laughs> got a quick drone scout here. <clears throat> Meanwhile, just a pylon on the low ground here and a forge expand. Yep. 
Uh, of course, he's going up to see if he can maybe mess around with some cannons. And look, oh my god, Suppy. it's Suppy and Kane. Suppy, I have my mouse are. pad up here. Will you sign my mouse pad, <laughs> Suppy? <laughs> <laughs> We, uh, by the way, cannon rushes have become very popular. Um, <laughs> You're lately. so funny. I just transition right back into it, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'm, I just shift the gears right back into the cast. Yeah. We, uh, uh, no, we've seen cannon rushes uh, over the past few months just have incredible popularity. Yeah. It, people do not. It, it's funny because it was like well, all it, gateway expands for a little bit, and now people are back to going for a forge and well, saying, Well, it's funny hey, some of the cannon rushes we're seeing, down. like some of these ones that cost like... It's so much to do. Yeah, very expensive cannon rushes a lot of times. This uh, drone delaying that Nexus a little bit. Bit annoying, I guess, there for Ruin. But uh, no biggie. Symbol has taken his third as his uh, first expansion here. So he'll definitely go up to three bases rather quickly into his natural. And there is that Nexus. All right. So... I'm going to take a little bit to get into the game very much. And, I, got, uh, I got a story. Okay, tell because me Because we're going to have a little bit of downtime here. Um, okay, so obviously, you know, uh, you got back from Romania a little bit sooner than I did because I spent some extra time there. Yeah. Um, so anyways, I've been back. I've been jet lagged for like four days, like sleeping for four hours, and I'm awake for six. Yeah, and, yeah. So anyways, I've had a lot of time to, to dream. Do you normally remember your dreams? Uh, sometimes. I, I have a pretty good memory when it comes to my dreams. <laughs> uh, I lucid dream a lot, too. Um, but I was I was having this dream, and I I dreamt that I changed my ID. Yeah? Like, I was like, no, I'm at a new point in my career. And in my dream, you know, like, things are funny in a dream, but they might not make sense. In yeah. Life. I changed my ID to Fabutaste. <laughs> Fabutaste. <laughs> Like fabulous, yeah, and tasteless. We got rid of the fabulous, like I got rid of less, and yeah. I put taste there, and I became fabu taste. Fabu taste. That's a and sick then, idea. And I thought, I'm like, oh my god, I'm like this, I'm like Snoop Lion, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm like a Snoop Lion moment. And then I started laughing, and I woke myself up. That is. And funny. I had to write that down before I forgot it. But yeah, man, that's I dreamt that I became fabu taste. That's crazy. Yeah, I had a really weird dream the other day where I. Uh, Oh, wow, fabu taste. Fabu taste. I was man. eating this cake that was fabu taste. And things, I don't like cake. I don't like sweet foods. But yeah. I was eating this cake in a dream. And like, that's while weird. I was eating it, I ordered another cake. And he looked at me funny. I'm like, I'm going to bring that one home. I'm not going to eat it here. And then I finished the cake. And the, ta the, ta the cake tasted fabu taste? It was fabu taste. Because that's what happens. It's the opposite tasteful. of tasteless. It's yeah. fabu taste. That's, <laughs> yeah, man. That's so funny. You're so weird. Um... <laughs> We do have a quick plus one here. We'll see what that's all about. Could be going for a plus two blink build. That was super popular on this map for a while in Pro League. Uh, not as much anymore, but definitely still a build you can use. Um, but I have a joke for you, Tasteless. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> this joke is going to knock your socks I'm off. I'm ready. All right. How many tickles does it take to make an octopus laugh? Uh, I don't know. How many? Ten tickles. Oh my god! Oh my god! That's an old person oh, joke. That's that could a good get grandma joke. and grandpa to get some. Be they have belly laughs after uh, that. Did you read that or did I you? I read that one. Yeah, I read that. I was just so tickled by that one. Yeah. Ten tickles. Oh, that's the good. funny thing is, if you really think about it, you're like, well, an octopus has eight arms, so maybe that's something to do with eight. Eight tickles. I'm like, no, tentacles. <laughs> <laughs> Is he going to get this overlord? Yeah. He better. All right, there we go. All right, so uh, he is adding some gates, and there's the twilight. So it does look like it's probably going to be the uh, aforementioned rush of plus two blink stalker. For a symbol, he is grabbing his speed upgrade and a couple evos now. 20 zerglings. Well. Hmm. So he's going to try to get some control out here early on. <clears throat> Let's yeah, see how big Ruin decides to move out because... Oh wow, Ruin's going to expand here. Okay, uh, that's actually fine. We've we've seen that definitely a lot in the past as well. You don't the have to do a this two base work, all in though. off this. The, the timing might not work with the links coming mm. out here. You know, normally these expand builds they work uh, after the pylon's done and you get the cannon up and then you surround it. I think he's going to get a cancel on this. He, I'm pretty sure should, with 26 should. links. Yeah, I think so, and that's actually going to be really nice. But the thing is, this build that uh, Ruin's doing is actually very good for securing a third base. Um, just going up into plus two blink stalker and uh, taking that, you have like really good tech and good upgrades and a reasonably quick third. So we'll see if he actually can get it. 
And by actually how many units we see here for uh, for Ruin, can he actually save this next? Uh, no, it looks he like he's going to skip it. should lose it. I think he's going to let it take enough damage and then cancel yeah. the last second. And there's that cancel. Yeah, it does come out just a little bit afterwards here, trying to push everything back. It was a nice uh, little speedling timing push yeah. there by Symbol. He also got rid of that pylon too, which is just another nuisance. You really need to get yeah. um, that cannon and then surround it up. So, well, we this might have actually forced Ruin into doing um, a massive ball in timing. Yeah, and the thing is, he was always going to move out uh, when Plus Two and Blink were about to finish, but now oh. he's got the gates up before the Nexus, so it feels like he has to do a bit more damage, whereas Symbol is actually just grabbing a lot more Zerglings, and of course, he is working on that 1 1. Well, Symbol, um, going back to uh, more of that macro playstyle, not doing anything. This isn't really cheesy here. This is just him shutting down a, uh, a Nexus with that mm -hmm. timing. Looks like he's going to come down here again and see if he can do anything else uh, damage-wise. He is starting a Spire and an Infestation pet. Well, he's uh, walking down right now, seeing if he can get anything done. Looks like he will surround and kill off something there. Maybe a probe or something. And uh, fourth base on the way. This Ruin's actually playing this very uh, conservatively, yep. going into a robo. The thing is, uh, once you do get out Colossus tech on this map, you definitely can move across and, and mess with them. Like you, we once it gets super late game, we can see Swarm Host play. Uh, but you know, I, I don't think that that's going to be something we see for a bit. And since he does have plus two and blink already, Spire with Mutas might not be the best call. He's really kind of covering all his bases at the moment. Well, there's that. Uh, oh. Hold on, he's going to try to go for the Nexus. Uh, let's get the probes first here. Let's see if he also goes for the Nexus as well. No, it just goes in and backs that. out. This is a pretty formidable attack coming up here. Yeah, indeed. And more Lings on the way, some Roaches as well. We do have a Warp Prism being made at the moment. Quite a few Zerg units here. Really big army at the moment, but this is you know such a small choke point that it could be hard for him to actually get a good engagement. All right, he's coming up here now. The force fields to go down. The links are coming up here from behind. Yeah, really nice flank. This is probably going to force him into a little bit more uh, damage than he wanted. We do have spines on the way here in the natural. Symbol not taking any chances. Okay, the end of that um, flank has is, is happened. Uh, the spines are coming up, but you know, with the way the buildings are set up here, it's going to be hard for the roaches to get over here and actually be efficient. Mm. I mean, even the spines are tend to get in the way. Uh, the mineral is an extractor uh, as well. Yeah, look at that. Nice force field utilizing the buildings as uh, kind of force fields themselves. And this has done so much damage already, Tasteless. All this, he's off of 46 probes, not even mining from that third base. More of a place keeper than anything else. Yeah, that, that's going to go down. Now, he does have access to the main or the third here. Nice force fields again. I mean, really just picking the fights that he wants, that yeah. he knows he can win. Really a fantastic engagements here from Ruin. He's he's really controlled every aspect of this game. He hasn't really taken yeah. any risks. He backed off when he needed to. He pushed when he needed to. And what is Symbol to do from here? Well, I think Symbol's SOL, man. Uh, with the warp prison here, the, the warp ends are going to be very easy. Uh, Ruin is blinking very well. In fact, none of these stalkers really taking that much damage. Mm -hmm. In fact, um, even blinking four. I think the blink stalkers. four there was a little bit too much, but I think it that probably won't matter any either way. Could have been to deal with the queen, so he didn't lose that war prism. Oh, you might be right. Actually, uh, good maybe. call there. Uh, well, just well timed out chrono boost there. The roach horn's gonna go down, and that should be it, man. Yeah, that's uh, GG. That is it. GG indeed. You know, that was pretty standard from Ruin. It was not really anything special there. I really liked how. He kept his cool, you remade the Nexus, you let it get a cancel, yeah. you made his robo, you know, moved out at the right time, just used solid uh, micro. And the thing is, Symbol made like a quadrillion lings. He had so many Zerglings. So when you go up through that little choke right there, the Zerglings lose a lot of their efficiency. Like, well, and also, they yeah, can't get good service area. He did area. force a cancel, but the lings in the end weren't that helpful. I mean, yeah. the flank was good, but with the really solid blink micro and the perfect force fields from Ruin, it was pretty, uh, pretty simple, easy, pretty simple. It for felt like Symbol didn't quite know what was going on. Uh, you know, the way that he he forces a cancel, he backs up, he takes a fourth base. His units were a little bit late there. Eh, didn't work out too well for him, Taze. This might be going to that loser match if he loses here. Yeah, well, definitely he will does. be if he loses here. 99% <laughs> sure if he loses the second game in that best of three.
Yeah. Probably going to go down a face Most off against Stork. Most likely. Um, our next map, picked by Symbol here, is Overgrowth. Well, it is the map that Zergs go to. Uh, basically all the time, but especially against Protoss. I think only one time do we have a Zerg not choose this map. I think it was like Shine. And that's self-explanatory. So, <laughs> Uh, definitely going to be a big, good macro map for him. We'll see what Ruin brings to the table here to try to counteract that. And that time is now as Game 2 is loaded up here between Ruin and Sybil. I hope it's a